All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 23. And essentially, this is the classic lesson where students are interpreting numerical expressions. They're either looking at the numbers and writing it in English, or they're looking at it in English and writing it as numbers, and they're evaluating to get the answer. So let's go on. So this first problem it says circle the expression equivalent to the difference between 7 and 4 divided by a fifth. So the difference between 7 and 4. So that means we're looking for some subtraction. So there's a subtraction right here. Here's a subtraction. And here's a subtraction. So, but we don't know which one of these it's going to be yet. And then the second part says, and then take that difference and divide by a fifth. That immediately means, uh, oops, not that one. Yikes, not that one. It's this one, divide by a fifth. And there's our answer. So there's the difference between 7 and 4 divided by a fifth. This is one-fifth divided by the difference between 7 and 4. So this is the exact opposite, or the backwards, of what we want. So this next one, circle the expressions, so there's our, our key, uh, equivalent to 42 divided by. All right, so we're going to be looking, first thing we're going to do is look for 42 divided by. And that's not this guy. He's divided by 42. We're looking for 42 divided by. So that allows this one, this one, and this one. Now it says divided by the sum of two-thirds and three-fourths. So we're looking for two-thirds and three-fourths being added together. That's this one and this one. This one is the loser because two-thirds is not being added to three-fourths. Right? So that makes this one a loser. And so both of these end up being the winner. Both of these are examples of 42 divided by, and then here's 42 divided by, and then the sum of 2 thirds and 3 quarters, and here's the sum of 2 thirds and 3 quarters. So there we go. We found our two magic answers for that question. More of the same. We're going to just kind of go back and forth between expressing it in word form and expressing it as a numerical expression. So here we've got a fourth as much as the sum of these two guys. So I'm going to jump in there and say, okay, a fourth as much. So that's going to be one-fourth times, and then we're going to add three and one-eighth plus... 4.5 or 4 and 5 tenths. Now I'm going to just say this one right here because over here what are we going to do? Well first we're going to find the sum and then we're going to divide by 5. So one, what you would write over here is the sum of 3 and 1 eighths and 4.5 divided by 5. All right, now here Multiply 3 fifths by 5.8, then have the product, as in 1 half. Okay, so students who are learning English might be a little confused on that one. That's like, and then have. So, what would we do? Multiply 3 fifths by 5 eighths, 5.8. So, 3 fifths times 5.8. So, there's our first part. And then have the product. We have a choice. One, one choice is to say, okay, now we're going to divide by 2. There, I cut it in half. I divided by 2. Another option could be to say 3 fifths times 5.8 and then times by a half. That's another way to have the product, to cut something in half. All right, and then right here, so here we've got a difference. We're gonna, we need to find the difference first, then multiply by one-sixth. 
So um, one way to write that is you could say one-sixth as much as the difference between, and I'm just going to put BTWN, B between 4.8 and, oh, I don't like that, Pl that looked like a plus sign, and 1 half. So there you go. I actually wrote that one out. I couldn't, couldn't resist. So it's 1 sixth as much, so that's 1 sixth times the difference of these two numbers. And then right here, so you've got the quotient, 1 half divided by 9. So this is going to be the difference between 8 and the quotient of 1 half and 9. That's one way to say it. Or another way you could say it is the difference of 8 and the answer to 1 half divided by 9. That's another way to do it. That's not quite as, as perfect. So there you go. The difference between 8 and the quotient of 1 half and 9. Let's move on. All right, and this is the last problem for this slide. Um, let's see, it says evaluate this expression. So the first thing we have to do is write the expression, don't we? So it says 50 divided by the difference between these two numbers. All right, so this means 50 divided by the difference of these two numbers. So there's our main problem. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to find the difference. We have to subtract. So we're going to go back into our memory banks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here on scratch paper. And we need to get a common denominator for these two fractions. And our common denominator, one common denominator that we could use is 8. So that means I'm going to multiply this by 2 over 2. So I'm going to multiply by 1. And this guy, I'm not going to multiply him by him by anything. I just leave him alone. When I multiply by 1, this changes the way the fraction looks, but it doesn't change the actual value of the fraction. So we end up with 6 eighths minus 5 eighths, which is 1 eighth. All right. Uh, parents, teachers, you may have to do a little bit of review because this is indeed review from a previous module where we have to find common denominators before subtracting. So now we know that this answer right here is 1 eighth. So now we have 50 divided by 1 eighth. And we've learned that how many eighths fit into 1? Well, 8. 8 eighths fit into 1. So this is essentially going to be 50 times 8, because for each whole number, there's going to be 8 eighths. So 50 times 8 is equal to 400, and that is our answer. And that wraps up 5th grade, Module 4, Lesson 32, where we are interpreting and evaluating, uh, evaluating numerical and written expressions.